Hello everyone. Today, I'll show you how to create your own CubeMX package using PackReader software. After opening CubeMX, go to Extended Tools and select PackReader to run it. Here, you can create a pack from scratch or reuse an existing pack to create your own. I am selecting from scratch. After pressing the button, you will see this window. Here, I chose the STM32 Cube Style Pack. There are also some other parameters, like the project name, project path, and vendor name. I created a new folder for this project. Here, you can select your pack name. ST suggests that partners follow their naming style, but you can use any name you prefer. Select your vendor. Write a description for the pack and press the Create Project button. Your project is created. Here, you can see many tabs. In this section, you can change the project attributes. Also, you can add a license here and a an URL for updates on the web, if you want. Here, you can set other configurations to filter the library in CubeMX, like the selected core, compiler, and more. I didn't change anything here and left as default. In the Pack Releases tab, you can set versioning. For example, I set version 100 for my first release. Write a description and release date, then press Apply. If we press New, we can add a new version and see previous versions in that tab. I will show you later. In Pack Details, we can add libraries and files. First, press the Add Component button. Here, you can set some configurations. I did not use a bundle. In the Class tab, you can choose one of the options or write your own custom class name. Here, you can add your files or an entire folder for source and header files. This is our project folder. I will open it in File Explorer to make it easier to understand. I recommend creating a folder to store all source and header files. Keep in mind, do not create a folder named Files because it is generated automatically. Here, I select all files and click Open. You can also change the folder structure, but I left it as default. Now, our library added into Pack. Also, here, you can add other types of files, like text files, README, and more. You can add some configurations to your Pack. I'm sure you've seen this in CubeMX. After selecting or enabling a library, you can configure it in CubeMX. Here, you can set the name, select Always, choose the type of config, set the default value and define the display name. After pressing the apply button, you can see that it has been added here. Here, you have access to see a preview in CubeMX. Let's check the generated pack. In the file menu, press generate pack and install it in CubeMX. As you can see, the files folder is generated here. Here, our new pack is installed successfully. 
Now, I want to create a new project and use this pack in it. In the middleware and software tabs, you can find a new pack, select it and enable it. Here, you can see the configuration I mentioned before. We can select or deselect it because we set it as a Boolean. After generating the project, we can see the library added to the project. Here, our config file is in the other folder. We can add and edit anything we want in this config file. To do this, you should open this FDL file. As you can see, this file looks like our config header. You can manually add something here or remove any unnecessary information. For example, I want to change something in this file and see the result. In the Pack Versions tab, you should press New and create another version. Generate and install it in CubeMX. Now you have selected the newest version for your project. Generate the project again and open the config header file. As you can see, our changes are added here. I want to show you something else now. I'm sure after generating any project with CubeMX, You've seen sections in the code where you can add or edit code inside two comments that remain in the code after regenerating the project. To generate this kind of source and header files, you need to add your own FDL files. Copy the default FDL, paste it here, and rename it. Delete all unnecessary code here and write your own code. We need that kind of comment in the new code. I copied it from the main file and pasted it here. Unfortunately, during recording this video, 
I made a mistake while renaming. The result is incorrect, but I will fix it later. Here, you need to add a new FTL to generate new header and source files. After adding, set the new version, then generate and install it. Here in the app folder, we can see our new files. As you can see, there are some comments that we didn't write in the FDL. This is an error in the generated file. Let's check it and fix it. I forgot to delete this line. Now, I want to test writing code in this section. It should keep the code after regenerating. As you can see, it has been deleted as I mentioned before. I made a mistake while renaming this comment. Let's copy it and try again. You are allowed to change only this section of the comment. I renamed it and regenerated the pack again.
Now, it should keep the code in this section. As you can see, it still exists. If you found my video useful, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and support me. Thanks for watching.